Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. God, the weekend. Uh, April 16th. Um, it's just a little after 11 in the morning. Just been busy taking care of stuff around the house, feeding the boys and all that good stuff. Um, I had to run an errand, and as I was driving, I when I'm driving, I listen a lot of times to the Sinatra Sirius XM channel. I love that period of music. Actually, um, I'm trying to sort it out. They asked me if I would be a guest uh, DJ for one, one episode of the show. I just haven't had time to sort that out yet, but uh, I would love to do that. But I really enjoy that. And when I was driving, one of the uh, people who came up on it was the great Kenny Rankin. And I had the great, great pleasure of working with Kenny on several albums and doing live gigs with him. And probably one of the finest musicians I ever worked with. Um, guitarist, um, singer, songwriter, everything about the guy was just amazing. Um, the, let's see, the last time... Oh, God. I think the last time I played with him was we were doing... Um, it was a birthday celebration of the great songwriter Hal David. I think it was his 90th birthday because Hal David was, uh, for the most part, Burt Bacharach's writing partner. I mean, they wrote so many songs together, um, one of the truly great teams. But uh, they had a whole bunch of artists. We did it at the Mark Taper Forum in downtown Los Angeles at the Music Center. And, uh, I mean, Smokey Robinson was there, um, um, Stevie Wonder, we got to play with all these people. It was amazing. But Kenny performed at that, and it was shortly after that that, that he passed away from cancer. Um, really young. I mean, it was just really just sucked, you know, that, that this guy's gone. Uh, but his musical legacy is really profound. And I've, I've talked about him and played a few things in the past on my channel. But just having listened to it, I thought I'd grab a couple more songs of his that I've worked on and, uh, and share them with you for a nice kickoff to Saturday. Um, this album, I've written some, it looks like a lot of notes here, but a lot of that uh, is the, um, the orchestra players that, that were on this project, and I think they all deserve as much notoriety as me or the drummer or anybody. It's all, we're all in this together. So the album uh, is called Hiding in Myself from 1988. It was produced by Kenny and Jeff Weber, and uh, engineered by Alan Sides at Oceanway Studios. And Alan Sides, Oceanway was Alan's studio. Alan's an amazing engineer. Um, and then mastered by the great Bernie Grunman. I mean, this stuff is just amazing how, it, what a small community it actually is when you get into uh, this business. It's really, really something how many of the same names just keep popping up. I was talking to when we were doing this uh, Daniel Lima album the other day. Uh, it was with Dean Parks and, you know, I just, we were kind of talking and it just like, most of the albums I've posted on my site, Dean is playing guitar on them. Not on this one, but so many of them. I mean, it's just incredible. The, the This really small community of players that have really done so much of the uh, bulk of the recording in this town. It's pretty amazing considering the amount of work that uh, has come out of this town. So um, the first song I'm going to play for you is called Delilah, and it's myself on bass, Vinny Cagliuta on drums, uh, Robin Ford on guitar on this, Chris Trujillo on percussion, and Randy Kerber on keyboards, and it's, uh, and it's Kenny on guitar and vocals on this one. So let me go ahead and play this one for you, and here we go.
it's, it's, it was interesting. Um, his version of Blackbird apparently is Paul McCartney's favorite version of it. Um, and he's commented on it before. He said, no, that was the one. I think they even had Kenny, I think when the Beatles were, or he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think they had um, Kenny come and do it. Uh, yeah, it was something like that, but um, I didn't really do the my proper history check today. I'm just running here. Um, but yeah, it's, it, that's incredible. But I'm going to do just one more song. This is the title track from Hiding uh, Inside Myself. Um, and it's called Hiding Inside Myself. I think the album is called Hiding In Myself, but this is Hiding Inside Myself to differentiate the two. Now, this is the one that has a, a wonderful uh, orchestra on it. Um, it's myself on bass, uh, Vinnie Cayuta on drums, uh, David Benoit on, uh, or Benoit on uh, keyboards. Uh, Susie uh, Katayama was the string contractor on this one. She's done lots of contracting over the years. And the uh, violin section on this is Bruce Dukov, who was also the concert master on this, Sid Page, uh, Don Palmer, Arthur Sedinsky, um, uh, Mike Markman, um, Peter Kent, uh, Joe Goodman, Harris Goodman, um, Paul Stein, Tamara Cherney Pep, um, Edith Markman, and Patricia Johnson. That's the violin section. The viola section is Mike uh, Nowak and Denise uh, Buffum. The cellos are Fred Socorro, Larry Corbett, Ann Karam, and Susie Katayama. The bass, uh, upright bass section is Richard uh, Fees and, and Bruce Morgenthaler and the wonderful K uh, Gail Levant on harp. So it's a, this is a sizable section on this, but it's a beautiful song. So here we go, Hiding Inside Myself.
I miss Kenny. He was he was something special. Uh, we did his album Like a Seed, a whole bunch of different things with him. Just one of those guys that would just bring the A game every time. So um, I'm going to get running now. I got lots of stuff I want to get done accomplished today. Um, again, my my heart is with the people so valiantly trying to save Ukraine. When I when I look at the uh, the scenes of devastation that the uh, Russians are perpetrating on this land and trying not to leave a living thing or a building or anything left, destroying all the wildlife. I mean, it's just, just this is basically trying to wipe this place off the face of the earth, and it's just so disgusting and vile beyond comprehension. Just, just, just. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with Coachella this weekend, and that's the big... Uh, music festival out there this weekend and next weekend, but apparently there's no mandates, no masks, no proof of vaccination or anything. So please, this let's not let this become a big desert Petri dish, Petri dish. And uh, I mean, we're just starting to get a handle on this, but numbers are going up. But when you start having all these huge events, you know, ball games and stuff, and you see, like, just, nobody's wearing masks, and they're all, like, screaming in each other's faces and stuff. And there's still new variants uh, just looming, you know, waiting for a, for, a, for a blue plate special dinner, and we are it. So um, thank you to all those folks working so hard. Boy, it's not making your job any easier, but uh, that's that. So I'll see you tomorrow. I, and just was nice visiting with Kenny. I just got reminded of him this morning when I was listening to XM. So take good care and I'll see you tomorrow.